Okay, this is not about how to submit. This is about how to look for the problems that you have in an Excel file and see where you can get the detailed data in order to know exactly what you did wrong in order to fix it. So you kind of sometimes have to get out, but you have to go to results. Okay, so I'm going to go, this is the one I'm going to look at. It's my Eddie Bauer little Excel file, and it says I got a 6.57 out of 8. Obviously, I did that on purpose, because what's the point of checking if I didn't make a mistake? So I'm going to results right here. I'm going to click on results. And it'll take a second here. Click through it. it results come up and it says okay here's my results here's my Eddie Bauer one I want to review it okay I want to review this it's I'm clicking on review now I'm going to click on my Eddie Bauer one continue to review and now this page comes up if it ever comes up and now a lot of students just look at this and they say well and, and I get it it's hard to find and it just tells you the steps but you have to scroll all the way down and look here right here where it says other checks and it's got a red X and a green check you gotta click on that and after you click on that it'll give you a detailed analysis of every single thing in that Excel file so here I got zero out of one and it sell, says and so these cells here the decimal point was not set to zero. So I would go back into my file, look at these cells, and set the decimal point to zero. That's that's see that there? That's what one problem I had. Let's keep going on, and here's another problem. In cell F20, so I'd go back to my file and F20. I should have set the category, which is in the middle there, to number. It's probably just set to uh, currency. I don't know what it's set to, but if I set it to number and then set the decimal places to zero, I would pick up a lot of points here. And then here has a couple other issues that I have. So if you fix these issues, you can just go ahead and resubmit the file, and you'll get the better grade or the new grade. And you can do that like four or five times on every Excel file. So I hope that's helpful.